train of thought. <laughs> Jesus says, I saw <laughs> Lucifer fall like lightning out of heaven. That is quick. And if God can kick Satan out of, out of heaven like that, how quick can he kick him out of your kid's life? How quick can he kick him out of your marriage? How quick can he kick him out of our church? How quick can he kick him out of our job? We give the devil too much credit. He was dumb enough to get kicked out of heaven. And if he can get kicked out of heaven, he can get kicked out of my marriage and my life and my finances and my ministry. Come on, come on, that's good, yes. So the religious leaders kept asking so that he picked himself back up. And the scripture says, he who is without sin cast the first stone. Now they're starting to get rebuked openly because he was going to ignore them and leave them alone. But they just kept on. And so he had to pick himself back up. And I told you last week, I, told, I mentioned this, I said, I, will, I myself would be satisfied with an hour and 15 minute service if it wasn't for hell. All right, that's all right. But because I know hell is raging and hell is trying to steal my kids, then I gotta be here until yes. the glory falls. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta be here until I can feel the real Jesus. That's why I'm not satisfied with just just a little routine of a service. And we push and we prod and we push and we prod because I want the real Jesus to step. I'm not to the place and I was praying this last night. God, I'm not even satisfied with just the train of your road coming in. Even though the train of your road brings peace and healing and restoration, I don't even just want to be satisfied with the train. I want to see your face walking down the aisles. I want to be able to reach out and touch your hand. I want the real Jesus. So therefore, I am not satisfied with just an hour and 15 minutes service. I'm willing to stay here until he Amen. shows up. Amen. 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 So he says, I was going to ignore you. Look what verse 8 says. And again, he stooped down and wrote on the ground. Here we go again. He's back on the ground. He's back down to the dirt. He's talking. He's right in the dirt. He says, when I talk to them, I got to stand up because they don't, they don't think they're dirty. So I stand up. But if I'm going to deal with her, I got to get down so I can catch her gaze. Let's try to wrap this up here. Look what it says in verse 9. Then those who heard it, being convicted by their conscience, went out one by one, beginning with the oldest, even to the last. And when Jesus was left alone and the woman standing in the midst, when Jesus had raised himself up again, he saw no one but the woman, and he said to her, Woman, where are those accusers of yours? Has no one condemned you? And look what her response is. She did not say, No, teacher. Right. So no, Lord. She didn't even say, No, master. Yeah. She said, No, Lord. Yes. Because when you see him as teacher, you're just going to get the same old rules. But when you see him as Lord, on, you get redemption, yeah. you get forgiveness, yeah. you get mercy, yes. you get grace. I'm confirmed to believe that if these religious leaders would have addressed him as Lord, they would have, their eyes would have been open to see mercy, redemption. Because when Paul, before he was Paul, when he was Saul, and he was out, and he was a religious leader, he was somebody who was trained in the religious ways of life and he was out stoning people and killing people but when he come to Damascus Road and he had an encounter Amen. with the real Amen. Jesus Amen. it changed his eyesight and he knew he had found redemption and mercy and grace so much so that it changed his name Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. see that's why I just want the real Jesus you yes. understand if the real Jesus shows up I don't have to preach half of what I should be preaching on Nobody had to tell Paul, quit stoning people. Right. Right. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Nobody had to tell Paul to start worshiping Jehovah God. Right. He just did it. You know why? Because he had an encounter with the real Jesus. Amen. Oh, we gotta get on because I gotta show you the, the parts of this. So here is a type and shadow, a picture of mercy, a picture of humanity. 
hidden within this story is the same equation of grace that you and I experience, the same kind of grace and mercy and liberty that this woman experienced. And if he can forgive her situation, surely he can forgive my situation. Right. If he can redeem her, surely he can redeem me. Yes. Think back when Adam lost the authority through the falling into temptation and sin by the deceit of the devil. And Jesus sees this, and he sees humanity, and he sees the things that are going on in, in the earth and the shameful, nasty situations. And Jesus sees that now because of Adam and him falling into the temptation of sin and losing his authority, Jesus sees that there's a need to come down and get in the dirt. Huh? I'm showing you a type and shadow. He was giving these people a type and shadow of just a few days later what was going to happen in the natural. And they were so caught up in their religious tradition right. that they didn't even see that he was showing them, here's what's going to happen in the natural in a few days. Come on, come on. Yes. So Jesus sees his need to come down from heaven and get in the dirt. First stoop down, right? Yes. And the Bible says... That when he was confronted by the debate of the law, he stooped down. So Jesus, in the natural, comes down, born of a virgin, born in a barn. If that's not dirt, I don't know what is. That's why they didn't accept him. Because he wasn't supposed to come play in the dirt. He was supposed to come pass out diamonds. <laughs> that's, what he, that's what they thought. But he comes down as a virgin birth, in a swaddling clothes, laying in a barn. Jesus comes down. There's no way that humanity is going to get free from sin and situations until Jesus Christ leaves the beauty of heaven and comes down right. to the dirt. To so look right. eye to eye with shameful people like you and me That's who right. should have been stoned to death, who should have been right. guilty. But he said, I don't want them to die in their guilt and shame, so I am willing to leave. You must understand that this was never a second plan. Right. The Bible says that Jesus was slain from the foundations of the earth. Right. Meaning it was always the plan of God to send his son to earth to die for redemption of sin. Right. And so Jesus comes down to catch a gaze of people like you and I to tell you that he loves us and that he came to redeem us and that if you'll accept his grace and his mercy, you will never be the same again. How many can stand and say, I have accepted that grace and I am not the same. Amen. 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 Christ continues. I've been, a, I've been a Christian and been saved several, several, many, Amen. many years. And God never ceases to bring a revelation of new grace yes. and new mercy. Yes. That forever changes my way of thinking mm -hmm. and forever changes my life. Because the Bible says that he was slain from the foundations of the earth. Meaning it was always his intention to get in the dirt. He always knew that he was going to be the lamb. And he was just waiting for his day to come. To come down. I'm glad that religion didn't, when religion didn't have anything to do with me, Jesus said, I'll take you. Yes. Yeah. Amen. When, religious wanted, when religion wanted to condemn me, he says, if you come to my side, you don't have to be condemned. Amen. Just accept my life giving flow yes. of blood Thank and go Jesus. and sin no, no more. Thank and at the age of 33, Jesus, after being sold by Judas, mm -hmm. all of a sudden he finds himself being tied to a whipping coat, beaten with a cat of nine tails, and his inner parts, he's so beaten that his inner parts are falling out of his rib cage. He stooped down one time and came to earth. But what does your Bible say? Your Bible says that he raised himself up. Did it not say that? Yes. That's why they didn't crucify him. He allowed them to crucify him. He raised himself up on the cross. That's good. And so he's beaten and he's wounded. And the story doesn't stop there. Because this is a type and shadow of what is getting ready to happen for humanity. He stooped down and he raised himself up again. But in the story that I just read to you, he didn't just stoop down once and raise himself up once. But the Bible says he stooped down twice and raised himself up twice. Which tells me the story doesn't stop with him being on the cross. Now I want you to set your imagination with me for a minute. While he's on the cross, the Spirit of God comes out of his body as he dies and he goes over to the temple and he stands up on the temple and the Bible says that the veil is ripped from top yes. to bottom. Yes. The reason it's ripped from top to bottom is because it is so
so big and so powerful and so thick that man could have ripped it from bottom 